Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of May 9th, 2022. We get four stories for you this week. The first one being an Embraer aircraft lost a winglet due to turbulence. The FAA is revising eVTOL certification criteria. And then the NTSB is recommending that SMS are required for air taxi and tours, and they're not happy with the FAA. And then lastly, we'll talk about a passenger that landed an aircraft after the pilot passed out. Everybody's worst nightmare when you're a passenger on an airplane flight. So let's get to it. And the first story this week is an Embraer 175 lost a winglet during turbulence on Tuesday. Uh, this was an American airline flight from Charleston to Dallas, and uh, they were forced to divert into Birmingham. And there is no word at the moment as to what type of intensity of turbulence they encountered, but uh, they did, did lose that piece of the aircraft at the tip. Now, it's not necessarily something that's 100% uh, required to safely fly, so it's not like the aircraft was going to crash because of it, but it's still kind of scary. You can see the pictures of, well, of the missing winglet. That's really the, the biggest thing about this is there's supposed to be something right here at the end of this wing. Uh, if you want more information, we'll put a link down in the description to the uh, Av web article, but uh, I thought this was, uh, well, it's kind of scary actually. The next thing this week is the FAA is revising eVTOL certification. Uh, I had a feeling eventually that the FAA was not going to be happy about all these eVTOL aircraft that are getting evaluated as small aircraft under Part 23. So instead, the FAA is trying to evaluate them as powered lift aircraft. Now, the FAA says that this will not affect certification timelines, although, well, it might because I'm sure the paperwork is going to be different to be filled out by all these eVTOL uh, companies. Now, this is the same categories that are being used for tilt rotor aircraft, uh, such as the Leonardo AW609, for example. Uh, but it's, uh, it's an interesting departure. I was always surprised that the FAA allowed these type of aircraft to be certified as small aircraft, and, uh, and, and now they made this change. So it somewhat makes sense because, well, uh, because the FAA is not happy until a year and a half. No, this is a bad joke. All right, the next thing is uh, the NTSB is actually not happy with the FAA after a fatal accident in 2019. There was a helicopter crash in Hawaii. And uh, in a statement on Tuesday, the NTSB said that they have made 11 recommendations to the FAA to prevent accidents like the one that happened in Hawaii, but the recommendations uh, only work if the FAA actually puts them in place. And the the FAA said it's time for the FAA to actually listen to the NTSB and uh, to listen to their safety recommendations to create a safety management system or to force the creation of a safety management system for eight air taxi and tours. Now, they've made that recommendation five times to the FAA, and the accident happened when the chief pilot and a Czech airman flew the aircraft with six passengers on board into a mountainous region of Hawaii uh, surrounded by fog. And then they obviously got into a crash and, uh, and everybody died on board. Now, the NTSB ex expressed a lot of frustration with the FAA for not mandating that uh, safety management system be put in place for air taxi and air tour operation. And uh, they've made that recommendation five times and they said this is the sixth time and hopefully this time the FAA will listen. Now, a little bit of background on this, that there's always been a clash between the NTSB and the FAA. They work for well, slightly two different branches of the government, and one is not working for the other, if you want, but one does make recommendation. The NTSB makes recommendation to the FAA based on accident data that they collect, and then the FAA can take the recommendation and do whatever they want with it. So the NTSB doesn't have the power to force the FAA to do anything. They can only recommend it. And this, is, this has been a subject of frustration uh, on both sides, I think, for a long time, especially on the NTSB side, because they don't have the ability to mandate anything to the FAA. So uh, we'll see what the FAA does with this. Uh, it seems like the FAA has been under a lot of fire recently for a variety of different things. So this is, I guess, just added to the list. The last story is an incredible story and the stuff that nightmares are made of. For those of you that are afraid to fly, don't listen to this next, next uh, segment. But a passenger in the Cessna Caravan, uh, Cessna Caravan, I want you to think about this as a, a large 172. Uh, the passenger was able with no flying experience to successfully land the aircraft at West Palm Beach Airport in Florida after the pilot suffered a medical emergency. Now, we don't really know what happened to the pilot. We don't know if the pilot uh, survived 
survive if in what condition they are. But if you listen to the audio, we're going to put a link in the description you'll hear the passenger calling on the radio and saying that the, 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 the pilot passed out. And then you can hear the controller trying to help them throughout the entire procedure. Uh, we don't have everything. We don't have all the audio all the way to West Palm Beach, but you can hear the controller uh, asking the pilot to uh, squawk a 7700, which is the emergency code, and then trying to locate where the, uh, where the aircraft was located. Then he gives the pilot a, or the passenger who became the pilot, the, he gives the passenger a phone number to call a PBI tower and then try to get information on how to land that aircraft. They actually greased that landing. It was amazing that they were able to do this with no experience. I actually wonder if they had any experience flying uh, video games or even flying in the Microsoft Flight Sim or something similar. Uh, this was highly impressive. So uh, congratulations, they saved uh, people on board's life. And uh, this was just really impressive. All right, this is all we have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, and we'll talk to you next week.